In this video, we're going to learn all about equilateral triangles and also how to construct an equilateral triangle. So the first thing to know is the word equilateral. It has two parts, the part equi, which is the prefix, and lateral. Equi means equal or the same, and lateral has to do with sides or lengths. So an equilateral triangle has all three sides equal or all three sides the same length. One property of equilateral triangles that is important is not only are all three sides the same length, but all three angles are also the same measure. And because the three angles in a triangle must add up to 180 degrees, each angle has to be 60 degrees because that's 180 divided by 3. So equilateral triangles are also known as being equiangular because all of their angles are the same and they always will be 60 degrees for any equilateral triangle no matter how small or how big. Right now we're going to go into Geometer Sketchpad to look at how you could construct an equilateral triangle. All right, here we are in Geometer Sketchpad and the first thing we're going to do is create a line segment that's going to be the base or one side really of our equilateral triangle. From this line segment, we're going to create two circles from either end point that have the radius of being the length of this line segment. So here we go. Here's the first circle, and you can see it has a radius that's the length of the line segment. Now we're going to create another circle from the other end of the line segment, starting with the center over here, out to there. And What's interesting is the point where the two circles meet up here. That will actually be the third point of our equilateral triangle. So at this point, all I need to do is add in two more segments, and I've created an equilateral triangle. So hopefully that looks like an equilateral triangle to you, but in fact, it really is. It doesn't just look like one. The reason why is we have two congruent circles here, and all three line segments that make up the equilateral triangle are radiuses of the circle. And for any circle, if you take a rad any of its radiuses, they'll always be the same length. So all of these segments basically have to be the same length because they're radiuses of congruent circles. So this was done in Geometer Sketchpad. You could do a similar thing if you had a compass and a ruler. Just start by drawing a segment, and then instead of um, you know, using Geometer Sketchpad to make a circle, you can use a compass to draw from one end point, draw a circle around like that, just like we did here, and from the other end point, draw a circle. Just make sure it goes through the other side of the segment, and you will be able to create an equilateral triangle as well.